Hi there, in this series of videos we are creating an end-to-end -end application and I want to start with front-end. For the front-end I want to use Lovable. You can use actually anything you want, so in addition to Lovable you can use any other project bootstrapper like uh, Bolt or Replit or whatever. Uh, alternatively, you can use an AI coding agent and just give it instruction. Give it instructions. Hey, I want to create a front-end application, um, and these are my requirements. So, if you use something like Cursor, Copilot, uh, Antigravity, whatever, it should be able to do that. So, I like the designs that Lovable creates, which is why I want to create. Uh, I want to create a front-end using Lovable, but I only want to use it for front-end. So then we'll create the front-end, we'll export it, and then we'll continue um, everything, like building end-to-end -end application. We will continue doing it with an AI assistant. Um, so in this particular case, I'll use anti-gravity because it's free for everyone, um, but you're free to choose whatever you want. So let's start with creating front-end. So I prepared a, a prompt. So this is a rather uh, big prompt. Uh, you can copy it from um, the um, course notes. And this is the prompt. So I want to create a snake game with two modes, pass through and walls. Um, and I already outlined what I want to build. So in this case, we want to build a multiplayer game where uh, it means that multiple people can use this game, can log in. So we have this ability to log in. And I also want to have the ability to follow somebody. So let's say you are playing and I'm watching. I don't know if we'll actually be able to implement this, um, but this is just an idea of what we can do. All right, and um, uh, I already added, and uh, by the way, so this prompt has evolved. So at the beginning, when I was testing, I just say, create a snake game, right? And then I see it doesn't create two modes. So I, then I added this prompt, create it with two modes. Then I already wanted to uh, prepare it to make it multiplayer because if at the beginning I say it I want it I want it to have um, you know I, I don't say anything then it creates a single player game and then adding multiplayer later um, uh, the design becomes a little bit more um, cumbersome let's say because it's added as an afterthought so if we can think about these things at the beginning it will be better right? And then I say everything should be interactive, so I can already log in, sign up, even though uh, it's all mocked. So I say don't implement the actual backend here, uh, make everything mocked. I al already want to get um, the feeling of this and how it will look, right? That's that's the prompt. Um, so you can read the entire prompt later, but let me just execute it. So as I said, this prompt, uh, um, it required a few iterations for me to come up with this prompt, so I didn't come with this uh, from uh, up front. Um, and for you, it also may be the case when you're working on your project, so it's okay when it requires a few iterations, right? So, and in general, you want to be very explicit and verbose when it comes to um, your coding uh, assistance, because the more information you give it, the less it needs to think like how exactly I should implement this thing, because you already share all the details. So now it is implementing. So we can see that it is editing some things. And by the way, I use a free mode. So you can also use free mode, like you don't have to use a paid version of Lovable to implement what I do. Okay, so uh, it is doing all the edits. Uh, while it's doing this, I'll just put it on hold and come back uh, when it finishes. I don't know how long it will take. So Right now it's 10.29 for me. Let's see when it finishes. Okay, five minutes later, uh, it has built it. Um, so I don't know, I haven't tested it yet. So I can see that um, this is what it, it implemented. Uh, I probably can see the code too. I just wanna make sure that it uh, created tests because I added, uh, I asked it to create tests. Um, so yeah, it installed the test, but I actually uh, don't see if uh, it created any tests. Um, so usually I ask it to implement tests. This way it's easier to make sure that the result that, that we have at the end actually works. Right, so let me see if... Yeah, I guess 
it it installed tests but didn't edit. Okay, we can add them later. Um, let let's test if it actually works. So it looks okay. Um, it's a bit uh, how to say jerky, or you see how it moves, but I guess it's part of the design. Okay, so it works. Uh, now let me see the leaderboard. So there are some, um, yeah, it's um, not real, it's mocked, but we have a leaderboard and we see, okay, so it didn't go well for, yeah, I guess uh, the, what? Okay. So yeah, mm, it's not ideal. Um, actually, what I noticed is when we maybe do we do this in pass through. Yeah, so the, you see the animation is weird. So the snake like teleports. Um, so I don't like this jerky animation. I'll ask it to remove it. I hope um, we have enough uh, credits for that. And also, what I will ask it to do is. Um, yeah, so change this jerky animation and uh, add tests, right? So that's my prompt with a lot of typos, but I, I asked it to remove this anim animation and also said I cannot find tests, uh, please implement them. So that's my prompt. Um, so let's wait till it finishes. Okay, it finished. And uh, also I noticed that I have zero free credits remaining today. So I guess it something doesn't work, I'm out of luck. But um, so what I see, it created tests, although for me this notation is somewhat strange that I am um, used to in, in the Python world and also in the Java world, usually the tests, you put tests in a separate uh, folder, not inside your source. So I don't know uh, if this is a correct way of doing uh, tests or if it's not correct, I don't know. Um, but um, I see that there are tests, so C, pages, uh, index tests. I don't know, for some reasons they are not displayed, but, well, uh, where is it? Okay, are they free or are they f f uh, empty or what? I don't know, I s for somehow cannot see them, but um, um, we can test it. So I s already see that, oops, uh, I already see that the animation is not uh, is okay now. Right, so we don't have this um, jerky thing. Um, so I'm this is kind of weird, but okay. Yeah, the leaderboard works. Um, so apparently, it uh, why it deleted tests. I don't know. So it created tests and then it deleted tests. I don't understand. So maybe it doesn't like tests. So when I was experimenting with it, it did create tests. But uh, from what I see, actually it works and I don't have any credits to, uh, to ask it to implement tests. So I have no idea. Uh, but uh, what we can do now, and uh, this was my initial plan anyways, is to uh, export it to GitHub. Uh, do I do this with publish? Okay, so I guess this is a GitHub icon. So I thought uh, my GitHub is connected, so let me... Ah, I think I need to do this connect project, yeah. Uh, okay. So now it created Snake Arena online, okay. So I can actually see it on GitHub. I want to make it um, public. So go to settings and then to change visibility, change to public. Yes. You don't have to do this, but um, yeah, oh, well, uh, just a second. Okay, it's public. 
and uh, right now I would say it's ready even though it removed tests but for, for, for me it's okay to proceed because I will add tests later I will ask um, our AI assistant anti-gravity to add this so what we are going to do next is we are going to connect to this repo so uh, I'm going to use code spaces to connect to it or you can use a local environment but the plan is to actually first run this thing and then um, verify it slightly so there are tests and then after that we will uh, add backend so that's the plan and we'll do this in the next video so see you there